What strategy should we employ in sliding our coins? Let's see what he has this time. Am I feeling generous? To
school magic right now. They're not moving us anyway. No. and heavy. loves this one.
read all about it.
The healing power of laughter! Bear bite!
don't move. Trust me. Sharper. The healing power of laughter. Feels good, don't it? Hear that? Ready to feel this? Nice and heavy! <gasps> Oh.
They said it would never happen. They were wrong.
There's no doubt about it. This is the place. It's so obvious now. It always was. Why lead me astray, Dr. Mabry? The stairs seem to never end. I give myself a moment to rest. An unsettling thought creeps into my mind. Might Dr. Mabry know what's here? Is he in some way behind it? I force myself to concentrate on what's ahead. The stairs never end. The strange light spilling out from the clockwork room door tells me the climb was not in vain. I enter, and I can't take my eyes away from the strange, glowing tube. It collects rays of light from all over the city, an otherworldly sight. This must be the source of the maddening. I can feel it. One thing I also feel, we are not alone.
out of my face! Would say that hurt.
matter. The retrometer is ready. Soon this will all be over. That voice, disturbingly familiar. It can't be. Now, I don't know what you're talking about, but we'll never catch that thing at the bottom of the Thames. I... I know where he is. My boss. That voice came from Big Ben. The actual bell. It's me. Eli, help! Please, before the top of the hour! Eli, Eli, hmm. I'm sorry, but that name doesn't ring any bells. At least, not for another four minutes. Uh, Amelia, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, he would have killed me. Amy, uh, uh, please. Tell me, Mr. Edwards, what's it like working for Dr. Mabry? No! That feebling? Surely you can't be serious. The man who runs steam calls himself Dr. O. You mean... The spark! The spark! The man who lit the spark! So the greatest hero to modern science is also its greatest villain. I'll explain everything I know if I'm not squashed to jelly first! We can always just put him back if he's totally worthless. <laughs> Such a softy and Phyllis. Extra! Extra! I knew it! I knew it! Imposters were running this paper! Eli Edwards to blame! Read all about it! See, here's the thing. The control specs have driven everyone in and around London mad. Only London was affected at all. Which means something in the area likely triggered the control specs. Something like the Metal Scorpion? Something like those, Uncle Randy. My pillars of power? Like you mentioned early on. Just before the control specs theory took hold. I suppose I was half right. Twice. So, Randy lit his glorified torch, and then everyone with control specs went vicious? Everyone who could see it, and the light from those things does reach the whole damn town. Precisely. And who created the pillars? Dr. Mabry, of course. Dr. Oliver H. Mabry. O-H-M. Dr. Ohm. This whole time. Turn off all these damn pillars, Randy! Do it now! Wait! Just hold on a second there, dear friends. <laughs> you see, the genius who constructed these fine pillars also fitted them with explosives. Ones only he can disarm. Ollie, you dastard bastard. Explain yourself, Dr. Mabry. How could you? I... I will explain. I will explain myself, Amelia, uh, to you soon. We all want answers. Now! The short version. I had a plan. It has reached fruition. I have my way home. 
I have the retrometer. I have the jetpack. Bye. Selfish, conniving son of a... <laughs> Selfish indeed. We could have really used that jetpack in the show. Do you suppose we'll hear from him again, Amelia? Well, he did say he'd explain himself soon. They said it would never happen. They were wrong.
Dr. Mabry left me some sort of communications device, plus a personal letter, something about him leaving to a place where our primitive brains will never find him. Good! Let him go! Exactly, dear Phyllis. We'll find a way to destroy the pillars safely and get things back to normal. No, there's more to it than that. We have to stop whatever he's up to. There's a steam construction site near the palace. I don't know what's being built there, but he does. It's the best lead we have, I suppose. I even have a map for you. Same steam resources as Mabry at my disposal, after all. Not so long ago, you tried to murder some of us in a jetpack. Now you want us to trust you? It's clear Dr. Mabry had Mr. Edwards under his thumb until now. And if he betrays us? He can always go back to the bell. Let's see what he has this time.
has regrets. Don't let me smile. Someone wants to play. of a clown.
for that talk I promised. One of several, I think. I am a man of my word. Did you just talk to me without stumbling over your words? I didn't think that was possible. I have a certain confidence outside of, well, your presence. And why is that exactly? Ask me again sometime, for more visits will follow this one. I welcome them all, Dr. Mabry. Can I still call you Dr. Mabry? No. Dr. Oliver H. Mabry, my former life, if you will, was an underappreciated scientist in the United States of America. Shunned by the scientific community for his brilliance, Mabry aimed to leave his home for a better place. He never intended to end up where he did, but such is life. Where he did being London in... What was it? Maybe 1873? London back then was an absolute hellhole. Absent of competent technology. A truly disgusting city. And the 
smile. You sound like Dr. Mabry lacked the competence to end up where he meant to. Traveling before the spark was never quite as certain as it is today. There were sometimes issues. Issues? Like getting places? In more ways than one, yes. But why do you call yourself Dr. Ohm now? Well, the physicist George Ohm died in 1854, and he wasn't using it anymore. <laughs> it's my little joke. Uh, hilarious. I don't know. I had my manifesto to write, so I put my initials together. I like the sound of it, and it represented a new beginning for me. Well, that's why I'm Dr. Ohm now. Does every backstory need to be captivating and well thought out? Obviously not. The Ohm Manifesto is credited for lighting the spark that led to rapid advancements in technology, resulting in our current world. This is entirely your doing? Entirely, yes. There is more knowledge in this brain than you can possibly comprehend. You have only seen a fraction of what I'm capable of. How much more can you possibly know? The world has advanced at a rate no one could have predicted, just in my lifetime. The manifesto presented only the information I wished to present. I was holding back with what I made public. Why? To get where I am today required a trust. A trust that the less advanced minds of this age could move the world forward to where I needed it to be. And now, it is in that place. Now, I can finally get home. How is getting home so hard for you? We have zeppelins that cross the Atlantic daily. I will say my definition of home has advanced since I began this project 25 years ago. But beyond that, next question. Tell me about your interactions with P.T. Barnum that inspired the creation of the Circus Electric. Oh, I'm sure Randolph told you all you need to know. I made some advanced toys to woo Barnum. It worked. Except that instead of working with a legend like I wanted to... You got Uncle Randy. <laughs> well, at least I was still able to keep a low profile working for a somehow even bigger ego. Randolph was so easy to manipulate, too. Part of me always liked him for that reason alone. And my ongoing work for him was so dreadfully easy. I only needed to devote an hour or two each week to the circus, leaving plenty of time to work on my current project. I must say, I'm rather disappointed on the details you promised. Only once all is known can all truly be known. That might sound profound, if it weren't such absolute nonsense. Tell your readers more will be revealed as I deem it worthy of revelation. Besides, you'll sell more papers with the compelling built-up narrative I'm offering you. Sure, that's exactly why I do this.
I believe this is doubt. I'll be real pain. Structural damage. Oh. An unfamiliar feeling, yes? No! Enhanced defenses! No escape in this town! I believe this is doubt. Freeway engaged.
This is one of my favorites.
Who's the best choice to please the audience this time? We won! But do we think we can do it again? We won! But do we think we can do it again? A shirtless man with bloody fists and a lute, yes, a lute, approaches us, strums some chords, and sings a song. I see you walking down the street, the kinds of chaps I'd like to meet. Or have I got it wrong, you see? Perhaps instead I pummel ye! Wonderful. So he liked Randy because he's easy to manipulate? <laughs> oh, that's rich. Do you realize how you've spent the last decade, old chum? Why don't you two fight about who's actually worse? Plenty to discuss. That's a show I'd absolutely pay to see. Don't give them any ideas. Too late. In the meantime, it'll be interesting to see how Dr. Mabry reacts as we close in on his presumed location. I'd like to think he'll continue to open up about his motives. And his past. We theoretically know more than we did before, yet somehow everything seems muddier than ever. Isn't that adorable? They're completing each other's sentences now. Well, now they're just boring. We trust our eyes, we'll win the prize. Amen.
Familiar feeling, yes. <laughs> Tears of a clown. Repairing ally unit. This is doubt. My gift to you, Dost. <sighs> no. It is a bit. Must I continue?
Still amazes me, Uncle. Weeks of chaos and you're still running the Circus Electric like it's a normal Tuesday. Wrong. We used to take Tuesdays off. You really are the worst, Randy. Do you lovely ladies truly not see that I do this for love? Love? For love of doing the show. For love from the audience who sees it. For love of the audience who sees it. For love of proving that no matter how dark the world might get, this planet will never rid itself of copious joy. You said these exact words to me when I was a kid. Many times. You remember. Oh, both of you remember. Good. And though I have yet to see it, I believe said copious joy even lurks within certain forlorn phyllises. Or is it philosophy? I'm not completely joyless, you know. And I will admit, I'm suddenly slightly less revolted. Who's the best choice to please the audience this time? But do we think we can do it again? Let's see what he has this time.
the child before us can barely walk. She cries in the direction of anyone who will look. No parents in sight. We caught a break. I believe this is doubt.
gift to you, Dost. 